Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable and enable system integrity feature um, in order for you to install some software that may have to be integrated tightly with the uh, operating system. Um, so this is for the newer um, MacBook or Mac that uses the M1 CPU and uh, these uh, newer uh, CPUs have the power button with the touch ID and to get into the recovery well we need to get into the recovery for us to disable the system recovery uh, system integrity sorry and uh, to do that so let's get into recovery you have to have your laptop in a shutdown in a turn off mode um, power off basically and uh, you would then press and hold the power button continue pressing it until you see continue holding for startup option and then now loading startup options keep holding it and you'll see two icons one is usually your hard drive the other one is the gear icon with the options all right so once you see two icons you can let go and click on the options icon and click continue now it's going to load into the recovery. And uh, once you're in recovery, you would have to select a user. So if you have multiple users, you have multiple users here listed, you'll have to select the one that has the admin rights and go ahead and click next. And you would have to log in with the correct administrator with the user password that is that has administrator access and then now you are in the recovery menu um, then you would want to go to the top menu go to utilities and then click on terminal to run the terminal app and then here you would then type csr util disabled okay I've done this before it's the first time I did it it gave warning saying that you're disabling system integrity and this could be harmful for your computer etc etc uh, it no longer gives me that um, warning because this is my um, second or third time doing this um, while I'm doing this video. So go ahead and type in your password for the uh, user that you logged in as. All right, I typed it in. And this does take about 10 seconds for it to come back and uh, confirm that system integrity has been disabled. Okay, there you go. It says system integrity protection is off. Restart the machine for the changes to take effect. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's to turn it off. And then the, the other part of this video, um, if you keep on watching, is going to uh, basically do the opposite. It will uh, enable, it will describe how to enable it, how to enable the system integrity protection. Okay, now to enable system protection, integrity protection, you would then do the opposite. Uh, get into the recovery, go to utilities, terminal, and then now you would type in CSR util enable. Okay, and there is a warning it says turning on system integrity protection allows increased system security, raise security level to full boot security of OS Mac hard drive. So it will basically turn on the system integrity. I'll click on or type in yes, put in my password. And this one takes about 10 seconds or so. There you go. 
uh, so now your system integrity protection is back and you would need to restart and just click on the Apple icon and then go to restart that's it thank you for watching this video I hope you find it useful if you do please give it a thumbs up so that others can discover it and uh, if you have a better way or you have any questions or comments please leave it in the comments below and if you like this kind of content please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you